All right, what's going on, everyone? Uh, my name is Ben Gonzalez. I'm the co-founder of White Picket Team, and I have EJ McCoy, who is also the co-founder of White Picket Team. <laughs> I'm the silent partner. <laughs> Not so silent partner. <laughs> um, we have two other business partners, Jeremy Langlitz and Josh Cahill, who couldn't make it here with us for this video because we didn't tell him it was happening. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> On purpose. Um, so we Josh, wanted, Josh wouldn't have shown up anyways. Josh wouldn't have shown up, and Jeremy wouldn't have talked, even though he has a lot to say. Um, love you, Jeremy. So we want to dive a he little bit deeper. probably won't watch this for five years. Well, that's great. <laughs> we want to dive a little bit deeper on um, the history of White Picket Team management into White Picket Team and, and where we currently exist today and what the future looks like. So I want to start with you talking about white picket team management because it plays a major role into what white picket team is as yeah. it exists today. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Josh and I co-founded white picket team in 2019 as we began franchising Scoop Soldiers, as we launched Chorby, recognizing that by that point, we were well on our way to having more than $10 million a year in revenues between two companies. We needed consolidated HR structures, consolidated overall business management, things that are the same no matter what business you're in, insurance, bookkeeping, uh, co other compliance and back office type tasks. And so we wanted to consolidate that into one entity, which in 2019 is what became White Picket Team Management. So we've operated that way for five years as really just a, a, a umbrella overarching company. It doesn't have ownership in any, so it's not a parent company mm -hmm. at all. It has no actual ownership in these businesses, but it has had an enormous amount of management influence. Uh, and so that's kind of what the last five years has been, is really pointing white picket team management at our businesses, whether it be executive lawn care or Chorby or Scoop Soldiers or getting into franchising with Scoop Soldiers. White picket has been there all along the way, really that back office support. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm curious of, when you said and when you guys established it, you had 10 million in, in revenue in both those we companies. We were working our way towards it. I don't think that 2019, I think we did that in 2020 for the first time. But you were on your way. What led you to the decision that we needed to establish something like White Picket Team Management? A lawyer. <laughs> no, I had sat down with a longtime poker friend of mine, Rex, who was a estate planning attorney. And I said, Rex, look, I said, I've got two businesses that are growing <clears> rapidly. Uh, you know, one's doing four or five million dollars a year and others doing five or six million a year, something along those lines. We were we were combined less than 10 million, but coming up on 10 million. And I said, I know that businesses that are doing north of 100 million are structured a little bit differently. And I want to build a legacy enterprise and have it properly structured to protect it, but also to scale it a as fast as possible. But I didn't know what I didn't know. I just knew there was ways you did that. Mm -hmm. And so Rex is who helped us our, uh, architect this structure of having white picket team management as a, uh, really it was initially in his eyes, some, a version kind of like a human resources oriented business. Mm -hmm. It was where all of our human resources, all of our payroll would consolidate so that if you work for any of our entities, you actually work for white picket. That's how it started. Uh, we kind of moved away from that over the last few years. It evolved into really being much more bookkeeping and leadership development focused. Mm -hmm. um, okay, and so White Picket Team came around within the past 30 days. Well, no, really the last six months. Really in the last six months. White Picket Team came about because we've had this desire over the last 12 months in realization that we want to point white picket towards the industries we serve, whether that be the pet waste removal industry or whether that be anything and everything home services oriented, we see value in white picket being able to elevate the industry by elevating other businesses and helping those businesses with these back office support, leadership management, consulting, uh, just as White Picket has helped us in that way. And so mm -hmm. in a lot of ways, I mean, today I've mentioned, you know, the 10 million mark a second ago, White Picket has helped Scoop Soldiers and Chorby and even Executive Lawn Care now to the point that it is essentially managing for those businesses uh, on behalf of those businesses. It's managing the back office of almost $30 million a year between those businesses and a handful of other entities that I operate that are more real estate focused. 
it's doing almost $30 million a year in, in support or supporting businesses that are combined doing $30 million a year. And let's point that to businesses that are doing a million dollars a year and help them get to five and 10 million the same way that White Picket helped us get to, to the size that we are today and beyond. Um, so White Picket team does more than just bookkeeping and human resources. Um, uh, one to tack on is media. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a media team that is managing social, organic social media for several businesses, Chorley, yep. Scoop Soldiers, um, the Pet Waste Millionaire brand. Outside of that, we have consulting, which is where I've, I have a couple of clients um, and they're, they're geared towards those home service businesses. And um, so I spoke at a, a conference um, earlier this year and I had someone message me out of that conference, which is great, a, home, a, a cleaning service. Um, they, they offer chore services uh, from, for different providers uh, in Minnesota. And that was my first ongoing consultation type of service that I was providing. And the first question that I asked was, what's your biggest pain point? What's the biggest problem that your business has? and let's outline some goals and some milestones so that we can solve those problems. And taking all of the things that I've learned, working with, with different talent within the ecosystem that you've built, and all the problems <laughs> that we've solved uh, together as a team, and taking that experience and providing that value, uh, hopefully value to someone else, but being able to help them drive results. Um, and so much of that is is a mindset it's developing a mindset mm -hmm. and getting out out of this scarcity mindset I know you've talked a lot about that but that is so dang prevalent in so many people it's you everywhere. talk to it's, it's, it's everywhere. everywhere it's whether I talk to my grandma or whether I talk to my cousin yeah. it's all around me in all yeah. aspects of family in all aspects of friends it's it's everywhere yeah and so but there's that that's what I have found for myself personally is um, adding value to someone brings me a lot of fulfillment if I can help them understand the mindset that they're currently in and where I think that they can be and then the practical side of actually getting to that point in hopes that you don't need us forever when it comes to consulting we want you to be around and we, there's a lot that we can provide you um, a lot of different services that we can provide but the the goal and intent is to help shape mindsets and give practical steps to improvement for home service entrepreneurs across the country. And so that's something that, that I'm really heavily focused on is having that level of impact. But again, there's also lots of other services that we can provide. Yeah, and I think that's the unique piece to the White Picket team. There's lots of uh, leadership consultants within the green industry not so much so inside of the pet waste industry, but within the green industry, there's lots and, and beyond that, there's, it's endless. Mm -hmm. But what's unique about White Picket, especially inside of the skilled trades and the green industry and the uh, home services industry, whatever term we're gonna use, mm -hmm. what's unique about White Picket is the back office that we also provide. Most of the consulting world is literally a guy, mm -hmm. a one guy Maybe he's got a, a, a personal assistant, but it's one guy simply helping you as a business change your mindsets as you just talked mm -hmm. and, and really helping you. Sometimes they're specializing in the accounting side and, and teaching you a little bit about getting your books in order, but they're, they're just teaching you. They're working with you and your bookkeeper. The beauty in White Picket is we can be the bookkeeping service mm -hmm. and that matters a lot because one thing I have found in dealing with lots of bookkeepers and talking to other business owners o over 15 years is that there are so few bookkeepers who really serve the home services industry and understand that. Mm -hmm. We have a very, very, very skilled bookkeeping department that does bookkeeping in real time, weekly, as opposed to monthly, but it's tied into the consulting and the leadership development side of things. Mm -hmm. And that is very unique and yeah. I think is going to prove to be very powerful uh, for our ability to grow once it catches on, but of course our ability to really serve the industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's an element of partnership that I, I want to be very prevalent. When you, when you come across the brand of White Picket Team and you, you hear our name, that level of, of uh, 
organic partnership and healthy partnership is something that I want to stand out. Yeah. Like it, that's a that's a really big well, and that's the like we, that's why we have the name is the name White Picket Team. Of course, we're White yeah. Picket, like White Picket Fence, Home Services, mm -hmm. Skilled Trades, so on and so forth. But the team part is uh, White Picket Team. We want to be about developing teams. In fact, as we work to develop our mission statement, which we need to do, that needs to be a core part of it. We mm -hmm. build teams. We yeah. help companies build teams. That might be our mission statement. Hear ye, hear ye. Where's my, where's my gavel? I'm kidding, because I'm silent partner. Yeah, I was remember. literally about to say that. <laughs> silent partner, huh? But no, let's I'm talk about kidding, that. Yeah. Let's talk about that aspect for a second. Yeah. So the, the, the dynamics between myself and all the different brands I've got and going on and, and the, the spinoff of White Picket. So historically, as we were just talking, it's been White Picket team management, Josh and I, uh, myself as, as uh, the, the CEO of White Picket team management and co-founder. I don't want that long term. Like the the vision, the vision for t pointing this to the industry is also simultaneously, essentially handing it off to you and Jeremy Langlitz to say, here is y'all's business opportunity. I've it's been a pleasure and continues to be a pleasure to work with you guys. Uh, Jeremy is a genius in his own right. He's about to have his four year accounting degree, but. Uh, that's frankly modest compared to mm -hmm. what's actually up here in his brain. He's a genius. He can do so many different things. And of course, your, your talents and your mindsets uh, as a consultant, uh, you've been tremendously helpful to me over the last five, six years as you've been here. Uh, but the white picket team and the spinoff of that is really intended to, to let you and Jeremy take the reins as soon as possible. So I know we joke about me being silent partner. The goal is literally for me to be as silent as possible in the future. But in the early stages, yeah, to still help set that foundation, to help point the direction, so to speak, mm -hmm. and in a lot of ways to keep jabbing and poking until we really get this thing going. Yeah. But as soon as possible, I step away because this is this is your y'all's business in a yeah. lot of ways. And I just want to be there to support it in a lot of ways, the way we operate within our franchisee system. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, very similar. Yeah. Well, um, this is, I guess this is more of a... Uh, a documentary of the process and this is the, the first first episode of what it's like to build this company but um, I've never owned a company I've never built a company from scratch um, I've been around a lot of entrepreneurs what I've noticed is that there's absolutely levels to the game um, and this is my first shot at it and there will be continuous climb and, and levels and leading this organization with Jeremy and you and Josh um, I don't know what I don't know, and the more I know, the less I know is what it feels That's like. That's exactly what it feels like. Um, that, that's how you know you're operating on that cliff, that yeah. healthy cliff that's just beyond where you're at. You're, you're, you're just uncomfortable enough. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I think what carries it through is, is a passion, both in the impact that you want to have and just the fact that you want it to succeed. And uh, I know for myself and what I've talked to Jeremy at length about the impact that, that we want to have both in the individuals that we serve, but the industry as a whole in franchising, it's, it's freaking there. There's so much that we can do, but there's also an element of us understanding the landscape too. And I think that's the season that we're they're currently in as I'm about to step into um, IFA's certified franchise executive program just the education, but also the networking and getting to know people and understand the landscape of this industry, uh, coupled with the experience that I've had up to this point. Dude, I'm, let's go. I'm freaking excited. So, so let's elaborate on that because we've talked about the home services yeah. and the side that we, White Picket Team, we want White Picket Team to help professionalize the broader home services, starting with pet waste removal and lawn and landscapes, because that's what Chorby and Scoop Soldiers tend to work towards today, but in the future, yeah. it'll be all things home services. Uh, but the other piece to that is the franchise side. Mm -hmm. White Picket already is very ingrained in franchising. You do a lot for Scoop Soldiers when it comes to franchising. Uh, and you were also a part, the White Picket team was a part of the entire process of franchising Chorby. And as these two brands grow, you're going to continue to have to provide support to these two brands, and that's why you're getting your CFE. And the intent for me is to be a multi-brand franchise or even beyond Scoop Soldiers mm -hmm. and Chorby, and of course White Picket will be along there to help support. But what I see is opportunity. There's so much professionalism 
and system and process and opportunity of, for uh, development. I'll say it this way. There's so much system and process and uh, expertise in the franchise industry simply because that's what franchising very much mm -hmm. so is, is a set, it's a blueprint for, for a successful business in whatever industry, whatever widget that, mm -hmm. that uh, particular franchise is. And so franchising brings an enormous amount of expertise and professionalism to any business. That's why I think it's, I, I, I believe very much so in franchising. Uh, but then you've got home services. And so bringing those two together and, and pulling the, what you learn from the franchising world into the home services and skilled trades, mm -hmm. that has enormous value in its own right, but also helping develop future franchise businesses in mm -hmm. these skilled trades, I think, is partially what White Picket can do. Th there's a lot of opportunity in it yeah. to, to, to create a unique niche for what you can provide. Well, follow us along as we figure it out. <laughs> and, yeah, and stay tuned because this is really in a lot of ways the beginning of, we what don't even know what, what it would, uh, what are we naming it? Tailwind to Success, the Tailwind to Success podcast that White Picket team, Jeremy Langlitz and Ben Gonzalez will begin hosting and co-hosting. That'll be fun. I look forward to y'all having me on and letting me yeah. on. It depends on how I feel that day. <laughs> I'll be on. <laughs> All right. There it is.